Hello student. Here let's see the example number 9.6 of the uh, NCRT student. So what is there student from the coordination compound? Out of the following two coordination entities which is chiral and optically active. So let's try to understand the student. This is cis form student. So first of all we have to draw the cis form. Auxiliate ion is bidentately ligand student. So here is the chromium is there, right? You draw it the here student because the coordination number six. So it is going to be octahedral ligand student. So here is O X is going to be this side student, and uh, because it is cis student, so what we can do that is O X also we have to take the together, right? And here it will be that is what a student that can be CL and CL. Now what we have to do is student just you this is the I am taking mirror. Here is mirror student right. And what we have to do is student that we have to draw the mirror image of this. And after making the diagram of the mirror image if it is superimposable student then it is optically active, inactive and if it is non superimposable so that will be the optically active so ox is coming near okay student so it will come ox is here this is the image and here is cl cl it will go cl cl and here is ox now student are they are superimposable student no they are not superimposable they are non superimposable student super imposable of student if they are non super imposable so they are what student so they are optically inactive optically what is student inactive this is what the first point optically it is going to be inactive there is the charge also there on this complex student so charge is how much is there student as usual that is 3 minus it is given here it is also going to be 3 minus there is no problem at all now let us draw the transform of the same student transform so b1 we are taking a student b1 is there cr cl2 ox how many times student twice and here is what is there 3 minus but it is the trans student trans so means similar group are going to be opposite side student so you make the first of all octahedral complex student this way and another is there so uh, we have to draw the mirror image also student so here is suppose oxalate ion you can put the two oxalate ion opposite side why student because it is the transform and that is cl will go there this side is students dear student now three minus and here is also three student now what we can do dear student what you can do here you make the mirror image of this one student drop on the mirror okay so mirror image must not be superimposable student if it is superimposable then it can be optically inactive here is cl this is cl student this is the mirror image so if you take this molecule and put on the another one so this mirror so this is the mirror image student mm -hmm mirror image is superimposable 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 so it is optically inactive optically inactive so to be optically active it not, must not be superimposed it is non superimposable optically active let us see the slides for the slides so here they are saying this is what is student cis form and this is the transform. Transform here is center of symmetry is there, center of symmetry can be cut into two equal part and mirror is superimposable mirror they were so optically inactive, this is optically active. So out of the two cis is chiral optically active. This is our required answer student. Thank you very much for watching dear students.